Hello again, Gary Stearman. Time for another update from Prophecy in the News. It is the 2nd of April, a Monday, and maybe you thought the New Age movement was dead. I have a, a few words to read to you in a minute that will change your mind. First, though, I'd like to read a prophecy that Paul wrote to Timothy, 2 uh, Timothy 3, 1 and following, where he said, and I know all of you are familiar with these words, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And that word perilous uh, is a Greek word, chalepas, which is used twice in the New Testament, and two times only, by the way. And one of its uh, meanings is insanity, or, or just being totally out of your mind, ragingly insane. And so let me read it again. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Well, uh, we do have many forms of religion popping up in, in these latter days. And uh, maybe you thought the New Age movement was dead. I have here uh, a little story from the London Independent, uh, datelined uh, the 25th of March, concerning the hippies of Europe. Yes, the hippies are back. And they are lining up to be rescued by an alien spaceship. I kid you not. Uh, <laughs> There's, there's a mountain, and I, I'm going to try, you know, to read this with uh, uh, <clears throat> latitude and acceptance. Uh, a mountain looming over the French commune uh, with a population of just 200 is being touted as a modern Noah's Ark. When doomsday arrives, supposedly less than nine months from now, a rapidly increasing stream of New Age believers, or esoterics as the locals call them, have descended in their camper van loads on the usually uh, picturesque and tranquil Pyrenean village of Bugarak. They believe that when the apocalypse strikes on the 21st of December this year, the aliens waiting in their spacecraft inside Peak du Bugarak will save all the humans nearby and beam them off into the next age. And so we have New Agers gathering at this place uh, called Peak de Bugarak. It's a mountain peak, and uh, it takes the name of uh, the, the region or the village that's beside it. As the cataclysmic date, which according to eschatological beliefs and predicted astrological alignments, concludes a 5,125-year cycle in the Mesoamerican long count calendars, as it nears, the goings-on around the peak have become more and more bizarre and ritualistic. For decades, there has been a belief that this peak, called Peak du Bugarak, which is 7,500 feet uh, tall, and it's the highest of the Corbiere mountain range in the region, but it's thought that that peak possesses an eerie power of some sort often called the upside-down mountain, geologists say that it exploded after its formation and the top landed the wrong way up. I guess uh, it must have popped up and turned over. Uh, anyway, they call it the upside-down mountain. <clears throat> it's thought to have inspired Jules Verne's journey to the center of the earth and Steven Spielberg's classic Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And since the 1960s, it has attracted New Agers who insist that it emits special magnetic properties. Well, it may. I don't know. But rumors persist that the country's late president, Francois Mitterrand, was transported by helicopter to the peak, while the Nazis, and later Israel's Mossad, performed mysterious digs there. Now the nearby village is awash with New Agers who have boosted the local economy, uh, though their naked group climbs to the top of the peak have raised concerns as well as eyebrows, <clears throat> says the text. 
Among their other oddities, some hikers have been spotted scaling the mountain carrying a ball with a golden ring strung together by a single thread. Wow! What can I tell you? Uh, Timothy said it, this know also, <laughs> that in the last days perilous times shall come. One grizzled man wearing a white linen smock who calls himself Jean uh, set up a tent in the forest a couple of years ago to prepare for the earth's demise. Quote, the apocalypse we believe in is the end of a certain world and the beginning of another. That's what he says, a new spiritual world. The year 2012 is the end of a cycle of suffering. Bugarach is one of the major chakras of the earth, a place devoted <clears throat> to welcoming the energies of tomorrow. I say again, maybe you thought the New Age movement was dead. No, it's alive and well, and as we uh, get deeper and deeper into 2012, I think we'll be hearing more and more stories like this. I'm reading this, I think, just to... Uh, uh, get a, a spiritual picture of what people will turn to when deprived of the truth. Uh, in general, men are, are looking for the truth. And of course, Jesus came and he said, yeah, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And people deny that rather continually, and when they do, their search for truth takes them into some odd corners, like the peak to Bugarach. Upwards of 100,000 people <clears throat> are thought to be uh, planning a trip to the mountain, which is 30 uh, uh, miles west of Perpignan in France, in time for their ultimate meeting there on the 21st of December. Of course, opportunistic entrepreneurs are shamelessly cashing in on the phenomenon. Uh, they are selling uh, uh, particular one-way deals accompanied by all kinds of perks and food and transportation and who knows what all. So uh, <clears throat> at least it's enhancing the economy of France. Jean-Pierre Delord, the perplexed mayor of Bougarach, has flagged the situation to the French authorities saying, please come to our aid, come to our tiny village uh, for fear of mass suicide. You know, what can I say? <laughs> Strange times <clears throat> in which we live. And maybe one of the strangest places on earth right now is this peak to Bugarak, <clears throat> where people are going to be transported to the next spiritual dimension. Well, it's a phony. It's a counterfeit. It's a false hope. Meanwhile, life in the Lord Jesus Christ does promise resurrection into eternal life. And it's promised that now <clears throat> for 2,000 years. And I'm not going to have to go to Peak de Bugarak to get my ride to the next dimension. All I have to do <clears throat> is await the coming of the Lord Jesus. And by the way, I'm doing that. And watching the signs along the way, which are growing, are numerous, are many, and very, very strange. <laughs> Keep watching. The New Age Movement is coming back with a vengeance. Gary Stearman, I'm watching. Are you? Keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs>